Hello, it's uh, vlog time again. Wasn't sure I was going to make this one this week due to things that's been happening. So you just got a, a simple uh, walk back round today. So anyway, uh, let's get the uh, concern out of the way. Out of the way, it'll never be out of the way, but yeah. Okay, um, I've been a little bit worried about my wife's health for a few months. It's been deteriorating. Doctor refuses to see her. And she's stubborn as well. She refuses to see the, to allow the doctor to come and see her. Well, after a few collapses, we got the doctor out and he sent us straight into hospital. Getting to hospital was fun and ended up calling an ambulance. Um, just gallstone trouble. Now, this could have been solved very quickly had a doctor actually seen her. But at the moment, it's a nightmare trying to get a doctor to see anybody. And really, really, it needs to change because you cannot diagnose serious problems over the phone. Now, she spent five days in hospital. She's home recovering now. Uh, it's not a smooth recovery. It's gonna be a bit of a process, but she's recovering. And yeah, this could have been avoided if a doctor had seen her. Please, we need to get back to normal with the doctor's surgery or some sort of normality anyway refusal to see people. I mean, we haven't even got a web, a, a video diagnosis. It's all over the phone. It's not good enough, seriously not good enough. Okay, now that's the concern. That's taken up a lot of my time this month and it's even made me go sick. Now I'm back in in a few days time and I'm trusting my offspring. They are very capable to look after her while I'm, while I'm out. Um, so I can get back to uh, keeping the family afloat. Okay, now on with the normal stuff. Now I've noticed there are a few improved cycle lanes going up. And uh, while they're a good thing, yes, they do bring other challenges, especially for experienced cyclists. Now normally I avoid shared pedestrian cycle paths because on, pedest on, on those pedestrians have full right of way even though it's a shared one, nobody walking bothers to check. Nobody, they just walk all over the place. And if you run into them on a bike, it's your fault. So I stick to the roads. Now they got these new cycle lanes. Now they're very blue, <coughs> but they bring their own troubles. As you can see here, we get inexperienced cyclists all over the place, blocking the way. Now you'll see also that I gave a lot of patience and I was thanked at the end of it because I was polite, courteous, and patient. And this is the challenge now. We, us experienced cyclists are gonna be slowed down, which, okay, we're safer, but still, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other, he says in Imperial Measures. So uh, yeah, they're a good thing, but we shall see how they go. Okay, so at work, We've recently had a change of, uh, a major change of rosters. So I did all the links as they're called in spreadsheet format, tidied them up, converted mine so I could uh, download and convert with my own program to a Google Calendar format. Now, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I did make this program available for everybody? Now it's in Python, so you could run it from Python but I wanted to make it as simple as possible, <laughs> which really isn't simple. So I went to convert it into a Windows executable. Now it's using a deprecated graphic platform called QT4, which will not install under the latest Python for Windows. So I had to upgrade everything to QT5. It took hours. And then I found a simpler way of doing it. Oh, great. But no, I've got all that done now, and I've even added drag and drop capability to it. So yeah, that's a very, very, I'm pleased with that. It was a lot of work, but it was worthwhile. It's not exactly a simple thing for a Windows user to do, and it gives out warnings because it's not signed. So it says, oh, we don't trust this. You can't just run your own programs on Windows anymore like you used to. Probably a good thing because there's a lot of viruses out there, but yeah, still makes things awkward. Okay, now in a conversation with uh, somebody getting a mister, uh, I was asked if a certain keyboard would be any good. 
Well, I looked at it and I've been after the mini keyboard for a long time. And it's only 16 quid. And it works as Bluetooth, it works as a wireless, as, as a dongle. It's got the trackpad there and it's got left and right mouse buttons up here. For those who don't want to mess about with the... Uh, it works brilliant. I recommended it straight away once I got it. It was the same day as well. Ordered it and it arrived on the same bloody day, which is absolutely incredible. First time ever. Now, on the mister, it works as a keyboard if, if used via its dongle or a controller if used via Bluetooth. It's a crap controller, <laughs> so it's just uses the keyboard for that. Uh, it'll connect to the phone via Bluetooth. It'll connect to a computer, laptop. It'll connect, probably connect to PlayStations. Anything that'll support a keyboard, a smart telly, it'll connect. It's great value for money. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And uh, if anybody wants to check it out, none of it yet. I'm not that big. I'm just me. So yeah, that's the keyboard. No. It's only September, but I am up to date with most Christmas presents. I've got all of the kids, the youngest is 21, but I've got them all. Uh, three are in the house and are stored away safely. One is pre-ordered, uh, just my wife's to get. And uh, that'll be Christmas sorted out for presents wise. Everything else then is just, yeah, little bits. Uh, okay, nothing's actually been done in the house till December. Christmas is December. But we got it ready while I got the cash ready. So, yep, yeah, that's as much as I'm going to say about Christmas until December. <laughs> no. Uh, this week, we this last few days, we've lost a legend in the home computing industry, Sir Clive Sinclair. Now, he may have been a fiery personality, but he basically kick-started the home computer industry by introducing a very affordable very nice to use home computer now I was a Commodore man myself but I did respect what he did okay I saw a ZX81 briefly I used a ZX81 quite a bit because my mate had a ZX81 then he upgraded to the Spectrum I went VIC-20 to Commodore 64 and we used each other's computers so basically we had the best of both worlds so I could appreciate what he was I knew both computers both both lines had their strengths and weaknesses but yet, yeah, without him, I don't think the home computer industry anyway would have progressed as far. It would have probably been the same now for what we've got, but the home computer industry, in introducing an affordable home computer, kick-started a whole new industry. And we've got him to thank for that, and now he's gone. He was a bit of a, an internet recluse in the last few years. He didn't like the internet. He didn't like the online stuff at all, apparently. But yeah, yeah, some people say he was a cock. I don't care. He wasn't. He wasn't abusive. He was just fiery. He was just bad tempered. <laughs> he did a lot for the home computer industry, and we've we've lost a legend. Okay, and the last thing now I want to say. Now, due to another monitor breakage, I thought let's have a look what we've got here. I got three tellies up in the attic. Um, all of them with HDMI ports broken. Oh, a lot are not exactly careful. So uh, I thought I'd give him a go with the real Commodore 64 and Amiga. I tried the first one. Yep, looks good. Except there's a bit of, um, on the right-hand side, it's a bit discoloured. So I get the second one out. Yep, that works fine, except everything's widescreen. It doesn't narrow it to, uh, it doesn't put the borders on, but a, a false 4x3. The third one, which is identical to the first one, absolutely perfect. So that's the one I kept on. And uh, yeah, so I'm now cheaply got a tv i can use as a monitor for my old hardware okay so that's it with a brief interruption of a phone call in between which is what the cut was that's my vlog for this week it did go ahead i got enough for it so yeah until next time hopefully three weeks i'll catch you then goodbye now